This video is going to be on condensing logarithms um, using the log properties that we've learned in class. I put them in the previous video on expanding logarithms, but I don't feel it's necessary to repeat them here. So if you need a refresher on what the properties of logarithms are, go and watch my expanding logarithms video. So if we take a look at this first example, we have the log base 6 of 3 plus the log base 6 of 12. Since we're adding two separate logarithms, we can combine it into one logarithm with the same base of 6. And then we can multiply the 3 and the 12 together. And this is an example of use, um, condensing using the quotient property. And then we can actually simplify by doing the log base 6 of 36. Um, and then we could use our calculators. Remember, when you use the calculator, you'll have to do a change of base to change it into a base of 10. So you'd have to do the log of 36 divided by the log of 6. And again, this is really asking 6 to what power gives me 36. Um, and most of you probably know that 6 squared would give you 36. So the answer to this problem is 2. If we look at this next example here, we have the log base 5 of 1875 and the log base 5 of 3. Uh, to simplify or condense this logarithm expression, we would simply use the quotient property, which says that we can change it to a log base 5 of 1875 divided by 3. And so that would be the condensed form, and then we can simplify it. Uh, 1,875 divided by 3 is 625. And again, we can type this into our calculator. Remember to use the change of base. And when you do that, you should get the number 4. Because 5 to the 4th power will give you 625. Here in this example, we have 4 times the log base 8 of 4. And to condense this, we can use the power property to get the log base 8 of 4 to the 4th power. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, and 4 to the 4th power would be 64, so we'd have the log... Sorry, I misspoke. 4 to the 4th would be 256. So we would have the log uh, base 8 of 256. And we could use our calculator to solve this if we wanted to, um, which would be the log of 256 divided by the log of 8, which when you type into your calculator will give you 2.667 once rounded. All right, now let's look at an example where we put a whole bunch of it together. Um, we're still going to follow <coughs> order of operations. And so, since I don't have anything inside of parentheses that can be simplified or any other groups, uh, I'm going to look for exponents, which I don't see any exponents either. So I move on to multiplication and division, which right here in this first term, we can see we have 4 times the log of 3. So if I'm working on condensing, I'm going to turn this into the log of 3 to the 4th power. And then I'm just going to leave everything else exactly as is. And now 3 to the 4th power is 81, so I could rewrite that as the log of 81 plus the log of 4 minus the log of 2. And just a reminder on all of these logs, since I'm not writing a base, it is a base of 10. Uh, and now that I'm done with my multiplication, I'm going to look at the addition and subtraction, and I'm going to go from left to right. So I'm going to start with this addition problem right here. And since we're adding two separate logs, we can condense that into one log with the same base, and just multiply the 81 times the 4. And then 
the log of 2 does not change. Now, by simplifying the 81 times 4, I can get the log of 324 uh, minus the log of 2. Um, I ran out of room, so I just moved up here to the top because we have one more step. Um, since we have the log of 324 minus the log of 2, we can use quotient property to condense this to one log of 324 divided by 2, which then equals the log of 162. And that would be your final condensed answer. You could type it into the calculator and get a decimal approximation, uh, but that's not necessary. And thanks for watching today's video. Feel free to contact me with any questions.